ready for our game of skill and strategy. Star of Blockbusters, Bill Rafferty! Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of our famous show, Blockbusters. We've got uh, a couple of players here right in the middle of our first game, I believe. Let's come over here and say hello to uh, our champion, Holly. Hello, Holly. Hi, Bill. Have you been thinking about all the money you have? Oh, uh-huh. Have you been thinking about what you're going to do with all your money? Yep. What are you going to do with it? Well, I owe my boss a dinner, I owe my good friend a dinner, I owe my friend a movie, and aside from that, it's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that leaves you a lot to play with because you have won, to date, $27,500. Terrific. Just terrific. Paul is the challenger here. Paul would like to get some of that for himself. Yes. Why don't you introduce yourself, Paul? Um, Bill, my name's Paul Richardson, and I'm a native Los Angelesan. Is that pronounced? Los Angelinos. Angelian. Or yes. an Angelino. Or one of those guys, or yes. Change I'm, your name I'm to Beverly native. and get a job. I have no <laughs> idea. William. I'm a native and I uh, have a fiance and a daughter and I want to play this game. I don't, I don't blame you. He wants to try and get to it. He wants to uh, take the championship away from Holly. Mm, yes. But we're going to have to take a look at the board and see what happens. Take a look now. Okay, as I said, we're in the middle of game number one. Let's see what damage has been done. Here come the uh, blocks that are in place here. We've got, uh, okay, Holly's got a few on the board, uh, and uh, Paul has one on the board. Holly is in control. White is working side to side, and we'll pick. G, please. Always toss up questions. Hands on buzzers, players. What G produced over 300 airships during World War II? Holly. Germany. Incorrect. Uh, I'll repeat it again for Paul. What G produced over 300 airships during World War II and is now the only builder of blimps in the United States? Goodyear? You got it. Goodyear is correct. Ooh. Goodyear is correct. So, red on the board. The challenger working top to bottom will pick. Uh, I think we'll go up to the Q, please. Q. What Q is what ancient alchemists called the liquid metal? Paul. Quicksilver. Quicksilver is right. Very good. We have uh, red in control, trying to get from top to bottom. Paul, pick. Why not the Y? Why? He wants to anchor at the top here. What Y sells for about $4,000 and is the lowest price? Holly. Hugo. Hugo is right. Mm. Now, how you got that, but... Uh, the lowest priced new car in the United States, that would have given it away as you go, but how you got it on the front one, I don't know. But you did, and you're in control, working side to side, picking. Um, Z, please. Z. What Z was formerly called the Congo? Paul. Zambia? No, that was incorrect. I'll repeat it again for Holly. What Z was formerly called the Congo? Zaire. Zaire is right. <laughs> yeah. Holly, in control and picking. F, please. F. What F should you do three times a year to your lawn? To, that's Holly. Fertilize. Fertilize is right. Mm. So keep it looking lush and green. Fertilize well is the answer. And uh, Holly is still in control. M, please. M. This is it. If she gets it, she wins game number one. What M is when you shouldn't plan a special dinner out? Because at many good restaurants, it's the chef's night off. Holly. Monday. Monday is right. <laughs> so Holly has done it again. She's won the game. She's getting $100 for doing that. Good advice to you. You're going to take all these guys to dinner. You don't go out on Monday night That's when right. you're going to spend your money. McDonald's anyway, open. <laughs> McDonald's open. We'll be back with more right after this. Check us out on Monday night. Hey. We're talking ties here. We're, we're so hip. <laughs> Welcome back. We're just about ready to start game number two, and I gotta remind Paul that he's gotta win this. I know. Otherwise, he is off to the land of parting gifts. He is out of here. Let's get started right now. Let's look at the board for game number two, please. And in this game, Holly, our champion, has the advantage. White is working top to bottom and can do it with as few as four. What letter? N. Toss up questions, hands on buzzers. What N comes from the Greek word for ship? and is the uncomfortable feeling Lawrence of Arabia had. Holly. Nausea? Nausea, that is right. 
Lawrence of Arabia had while riding his camel, and Julius Caesar suffered while sailing the Mediterranean. Nausea is the answer we were looking for. White working top to bottom, we'll pick. G, please. G. What G are some cities using to create energy by burning... Paul. Garbage. Garbage is right. <laughs> by burning this waste material in incinerators, garbage was the answer. And red is on the board now, working side to side in a must-win situation. Let's anchor with the W, please. W. What W does affluence expert Mary Ellen say will absorb the smell of cabbage if you boil these nuts with it, shell and... Holly. Walnuts? Walnuts is right. <laughs> shell and oil. Okay. Holly, in control. Working uh, top to bottom. We'll pick again. T, please. T. What T was named for the Turkish word for turban because of its shape? and the varieties of this flower, such as Paul. Tulip? Tulip is right. And the varieties of this flower, such as parrots and triumphs, came to us originally from Holland, of course, and that would have to be Tulip. Uh, the challenge are back in control now, working side to side and picking. I'm gonna go to the K, please. K. What K does one what K does one hold an ax while the remaining three hold swords in a standard deck? Uh, Holly. King. King is right. A standard deck of playing cards. So, Holly back in control. That is white, working top to bottom and picking. I'll have the H, please. H. What H has long been used as an excuse to get out of sex? Holly. Headache. Headache. <laughs> but now research shows that sex can actually cause them. So, headache is, uh, whoa, what a headache I got. I got to tell you. Okay, Holly is still in control. White working top to bottom picking. The B, please. This is it. You got a block here, Paul. What B was first played with two peach baskets? Paul. Basketball. You got it. <laughs> Instead of hoops and nets, basketball was the answer. And uh, red, now in control again, as I said, in a must-win situation and picking. R, please. R. What R was passed over for the starring role in The Best Man, a movie about politics, because the studio felt he didn't have the presidential look? Paul. Reagan? Reagan is right. And those studio heads really knew what they were doing, didn't they? <laughs> Red, in control, working side to side and picking. I'll take the C, please. C. What C houses a bishop, which is technically the only difference between this... Holly. Chess. It's correct. It's correct. I'll repeat it again for Paul. What C houses a bishop, which is technically the only difference between this and a church? Oh, I thought you were going to say a cathedral. Oh. Cathedral is what we were looking for there. Another C question. Catacombs. Toss up. What C did a recent survey find is the Chevrolet model that affluent Americans think is the sexiest of all cars? Paul. Corvette? You got it. Yeah. It's all you need when you're a single guy. It's a Corvette and a condo, and you've got it all. Right? <laughs> And health insurance. Okay, continuing on. Red, working side to side. Picking, please. The M, please. How quickly it changes. Listen to the speech I will give now. If Paul gets this, he will tie the match. Holly, you got a block if you want to try and win the championship. M. What M did a Massachusetts man recently file for the mineral rights to, even though neither he nor any other man has ever set foot on Paul? The moon? Incorrect. I'll repeat it again for Holly. What M did a Massachusetts man recently file for the mineral rights to, even though neither he nor any other man has ever set foot on this red planet? Mars. You got it. Mars was right. <laughs> we'll be back with the conclusion of this right now. Welcome back. Middle of game number two right now. It's a must-win situation for Paul. He is hanging on. He's trying to do it. And uh, unfortunately, Holly has control of the board. White is working uh, top to bottom, believe it or not. And we'll pick. F, please. F. 
What if does one United States family in 10 not have living with them because of a divorce? Paul. Father. Father is right. So Red takes over control of the board and it will pick. I will take the eye, please. All right, if he gets this, he will have tied up the match. What eye did an Arabian prince plan to tow from Antarctica to Saudi Arabia? Paul. Iceberg. You got it! Yeah. Thank you. Fascinating. To provide a billion ton source of fresh drinking water. That is a fascinating fact, boy. Those guys think big over there. Anyway, Paul, congratulations. Thank so you. you did it. You had to do it, and you tied this match up. There's the route he had to take to do it. He now has one game in his corner and $100, and that means that I will tell you right now that if you look very closely at that television screen, you're going to see the tie-breaking board. Here it comes. Here it comes. And notice it is an even board. Nobody has the advantage in this game. Red is working top to bottom. White is working side to side. Whoever wins this goes to the gold run. What letter are we starting with, please? E. What E is the award given annually to the best Miss... Holly. Emmy. Incorrect. I'll repeat it for Paul. What E is the award given annually to the best mystery writer and is named for Poe, who is credited with writing the first detective novel? Edgar? Edgar is right. <laughs> Challenger takes control, working top to bottom, we'll pick. R, please. R. What R set a Guinness record by being over 11 miles long, big enough to make a noose for the Jolly Green Giant? That is Holly. Rope. Rope is right. <laughs> White in control, working side to side, pick. M. What M are scientists working on a large version of to warm up people who have been subjected to extreme cold? Paul. Microwave? Microwave is right. <laughs> mm. Much like you use yours to quickly defrost a rump roast. <laughs> Don't you be putting that in the microwave at home. Don't try that alone now. Okay. Let's continue on right now. Paul, in control, working top to bottom, and we'll pick. Let's go to the S, please. S. What S do 5,000 children and teenagers take up each day in America and is now illegal in most restaurants? That is Holly. Smoking. Smoking is right. Mm. Illegal in most restaurants in Beverly Hills, in fact, all of them, I think. But uh, White now has control of the board, working side to side, picking, please. The H, please. H. What H built houses for his employees on Chocolate and Cocoa Avenues? Paul. Hershey. Hershey is right. <laughs> Near his Pennsylvania factory, Hershey, of course, was the answer right there. Red back in control, trying to go from top to bottom. Pick, please. F, please. F. What F? Does a typical fast food meal of a cheeseburger, fries, and... Holly. Fat. Incorrect. I'll repeat it again for Paul. What F does a typical fast food meal of cheeseburger, fries, and soft drink have almost none of? But we need this roughage to clean waste materials and dead cells from our bodies. Fiber? Fiber is right. Good game. We'll be back with the conclusion right after this. Get yeah. going right now, middle of the tiebreaker. Paul has control. That is red, working from top to bottom. Pick, please. P, please. P. There it is, guys. Uh, if he gets this, he is the new champ and is off to the gold run. Holly, I don't think I've ever had to tell you this before. You have got to block here if you want to survive as the champ. What P will keep you more alert if you eat a lunch rich in it rather than one head? Holly. Potassium? Incorrect. Audience, please. What P will keep you more alert if you eat a lunch rich in it rather than one heavy in carbohydrates? Protein! You got it! Terrific. Good job, Paul. You had to come back, and you were out the door. 
<laughs> you, had, out the door. you had one foot out the door. There's the route you just saw it taking place. Oh, anyway, God. Paul, come on over here. Stand over here with me, sir. You're on your way to the gold run. Holly, I want to thank you for being here and being Thanks. such a good champion with us. And you're going to take $27,600 to prove it. And take it. a Frigidaire refrigerator. Hey, hey. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, Paul. Good job. Good, good job. job. You were... You were down to the proverbial door. I mean, that was it. You had one foot out, and, but you came back and you did it, and man, that's, that's why you became the champion. Let's get started right now. Let us take a look at the gold run board, please. Okay, Paul, this is what you're going to have to do. To win the big money, you're going to start at the left side and make a path connecting the gold to the gold. If you make that connection, you will win $5,000. Now, if you miss a question or you pass, you know the block goes up on the board and you have to work your way around that. But you're gonna have 60 seconds in which to do it and you just keep going until time runs out, okay? okay. Good luck, good luck to you. Let's get started right now. Let's give him 60 seconds. Time will begin after your first clue. Pick your first letters, please. L-E, please. She plays Crystal on Dynasty. Linda Evans. Correct, pick again. J-F. Voice of Charlie on Charlie's John Angels. John Forsyth. Correct, pick again. H-K. A regular with Carol Burnett. Harvey Corman. Correct. Pick again. LB. She said, you know how to whistle, don't you? Lauren Bacall. Correct. Pick again. SW. This Disney character just turned Snow 50. White. You got it! Yeah. <laughs> you got uh, 36 seconds left. We could have done it twice, sir. Let's do so, it. Let's do it. <laughs> anyway, you got $200 for being the champ, $5,000 for winning the gold run. That comes up to $5,200. Yeah. Not a bad day. We'll be back right after this brief message. Come back and join us. Will you? Oh, oh, oh. Allergies a pain in the nose for your family. Next up, it's Beat the Clock, followed by Trivia Trap, then a potpourri of games on the Weekend Showcase. Here we are. We are back right now. Uh, Paul is going to take a well-deserved breather while I introduce you to Patty, our challenger. Hello, Patty. Hi, my name is Patty Perrin. I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, but I've been out here for about two years. And I'm kind of a rare breed in Los Angeles. I'm a Cajun. You're a Cajun, yeah? Yeah. I yeah. love New Orleans. Boy, let's get down to the Café du Mont for some beignets. And some Mardi Gras beignets. Yeah, absolutely. Are yeah, you ready? Good luck to you. Let's get started right now. Let's take a look at the board for our game, please. Quick reminder, Patty has the challengers going red to red. That's top to bottom. She can do it with as few as four. Okay, what letter, please? T. What T were once used to chase wild game out of holes in the ground and is the group of dogs whose name comes from the Latin word for earth? Paul. Terror? Terriers? Terriers is right. Terriers is the answer we wanted. And Paul gave it to us. The champ is now on the board and in control. I'd like G, please. G. What G was quoted as saying, what a part for Ronald Coleman when he read the screenplay of Gone with the Wind. Patty. Gable. Gable. That is right. That is right. <laughs> so the challenger makes an appearance. Red is working top to bottom and we'll pick. P, please. What P cannot fly more than 100 hours a month, according to laws regulating the airlines? Patty. Planes? No. Incorrect. Uh, incorrect. I'm going to repeat it again for Paul. Paul, what P cannot fly more than 100 hours a month, according to laws regulating the airlines? Pilots. Pilots is the correct answer we were looking for there. So, we're going to have to wrap it up right now. We don't have enough time to continue. We will pick it up in the middle of game number one tomorrow. My name is Bill Rafferty. Join me then, won't you? Bye-bye. A member of our studio audience will receive Casio's computer-compatible CW30 personal electronic typewriter with scores of functions to make any typing job a pleasure. It's ideal for home, school, or office. And the party contestants will receive Frigidaire's finest 18 cubic foot frost-proof refrigerator freezer with Texas steel doors for no fingerprints and fully adjustable tinted glass shelves furnished by Frigidaire Appliances. Jules Jurgensen's Ladies Classic Series Diamond Dial Watch, elegantly styled with 10 genuine diamonds, the Classic Series furnished by Jules Jurgensen. Lazy Boy's Recliner Rocker. You may enjoy quality and comfort 
as you rock, recline, or relax, furnished by Lazy Boy. Ray-Ban leather sunglasses, classic styles with rich leather accents, plus sun-sensitive gradient fashion lenses for wear indoors and out, furnished by Bausch & Lohm. The Regency R1070 programmable 10-channel scanner lets you tune in to police, fire, emergency, and weather broadcasts, furnished by Regency. Vitamix stainless steel, three-minute bread maker and home yogurt factory that juices without waste, cooks without burning, freezes instant ice cream, and offers 800 other recipes. Protect your fine fabrics and furs from damage caused by moths, silverfish, and carpet beetles with Enos old-fashioned mothballs from Willard Home Products. This is Rich Jeffrey speaking for Blockbusters, a Mark Goodson television production. You're watching Game Show Network. Get ready for our game.